This is D, and let's dress for life, that's what's up. We're pretty sure that you've heard by now that Archbishop Desmond Tutu has died. So what if he didn't get the headline? So what if the headline was about some foolishness that really doesn't make a difference in the world? But Archbishop Desmond Tutu, what was so significant about him? It wasn't so much for this brother that he got the... the, the um, Nobel Peace Prize for 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 nonviolent um, um, protest against apartheid. That was that was that was okay. But this is this is this is why this well-educated, very articulate, incredible orator gets the prize for this brother. This man. Oh, by the way, also not because he became. Um, was the Archbishop of the Anglican Church, but because this individual believed in God. A black man, during the times that he lived, believed in God, believed in the God of the Bible. Now, my brother, my sister, that's incredible. Because if you if you think about how 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 God and the Bible has been presented to black folk, there's really no need for us to believe in it. There's no reason for us to believe in it. You have these leaders that do not, that are not of our hue, that are presenting things that are not in our favor. Yet you have black folk, strong black folk who continue to believe. You look at this nativity scene. What is it that you see? A whole bunch of white folk, one brother. At least he's not bowed down like that little shepherd. But the thing is, this is supposed to represent Christianity to us, especially this little, little baby. Uh, I don't think so. But I really encourage you not to pay attention to what has be, been presented to you by, by the masses, but you meditate upon the word of God for yourself. Because as you do that, my brother, as you do that, my sister, you will see that God is for the black man. God is for the black woman. The Bible is for the black man. The Bible is for the black woman. Guess what country you have represented in the very first book of the Bible? Egypt. Not only that, but Egypt actually saved Israel. Now, don't get me wrong. You had a Pharaoh in, in Exodus who knew not Joseph. All right. <laughs> he got it wrong. And unfortunately, God had to get him. But all in all, black folk have very strong roles in the Bible. And these are just in, in, in Christianity, period. Um, um, you look, Cushy or Cushai in 2 Samuel was a very faithful servant to David. And the Queen of Sheba, guess what? She and King Solomon had good interactions. I'll just leave it at that. Ebed Melech, an Ethiopian brother, Guess what? Who saved Jeremiah's hide? Yeah, you need to check some of these things out. But the thing is, let me keep going. I'm going to go into the New Testament. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but Jesus, when Jesus was an itty bitty baby, guess where his parents took him to? They took him to Egypt. And you know about the time that he returned from Egypt? Was about He was about six or 10 years old, between six and 10 years of age. Can you imagine little Jesus over in Israel with an Egyptian accent? <laughs> you think about who helped Jesus when he was struggling on his way to Golgotha? Simon of Cyrene. And let me keep going. Who wrote the book of Luke? Who wrote the book of Acts? A brother named Luke. A medical doctor also might have been known as Lucius and my brother my sister Lucius was from Cyrene and guess who came from Cyrene medical doctors what was Luke and you tell me if Lucius ain't just another word for Luke and here's one more thing think about this they even thought that Paul was a brother you look in Acts chapter 21 he was thought oh hey are you that Egyptian so apparently Paul had something in him and maybe that's why he, he, he and um, Luke hung so tight. 
who knows but whatever the case my brother whatever the case my sister i want you to understand the bible god christianity is for the black man and the black woman and i'm, I'm gonna hit you I, I could talk to you about some of the early church fathers i'm not gonna do that but to say that many of the early church fathers were berbers and that's a region in northern africa and by the way it also includes mali one last thing i'm gonna hit you with ghana you look at the word for the seventh day that means the day of god after the europeans came after the colonizers came sunday the first day of the week was changed and now the name of sunday means day of the missionary my brother my sister you better know that god is the god for black man and black woman the bible is their blueprint don't forget it live it <laughs> and love it well that's all we got for now this is d and let's stress for life that's what's up peace